Good morning. It's been a minute since I've picked up this camera and vlog. I feel like I kind of need to update you guys on what I've been doing, what I've been up to. But really and truly, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know what I've been doing. But honestly, guys, the last time I vlogged is I think I'm gonna catch you up. I was taking Stormy to the vet for the first time and I was gonna vlog that day and then I don't know what happened really. <laughs> Her first vaccination, I didn't do it four weeks from the exact date because I was away. They said that basically she'd recommend for me to do it again, so exactly four weeks. So she's got another four weeks to pick up. Four weeks, oh, okay. Actually, I might do it. I just went let her run other dogs. And then since then, I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna chill with the vlogs for a bit and just like try post more stories on Instagram. Cause guys, I'm not gonna lie. I was just really struggling to just do everything. It's like, I wanted to do everything, but it was like, I was struggling. Do you know what I mean? So I just thought, let me just chill out a bit. Like all I, all I was doing was going to events, chilling with my friends. <laughs> Hey guys, this is such a random way to start the vlog. I've literally been rushing all day because I had to go to Pulse Light to get some laser treatment. Oh baby, when I was in there, it was so cute. Your uh, pictures was everywhere. It <laughs> was so pretty. Oh, fine. You're like a proper face there. I'm back to the Yeah, so I had my Pulse Light appointment. We had mass on our way to a restaurant. I got invited down here because you know, no, I just like I'm just a foodie and so is Maz. So we're gonna stop over. It's meant to be like this different like Nigerian food with a twist. <gasps> oh my god, we're oh, to babe, where the hell are we walking to? I'm and I'm following you like you know babe. where you're going. I thought you said we're going to Yeah, we're going to embankment. It's so cold. No, it's actually babe, it's raining. It's snow. Is it's it rain. rain. I think it's snow. What are we gonna do? Babe, that's a bit much. Oh, I'm, I'm only wearing this little jacket. <laughs> and I got ripped in my jeans. So guys, me and Maz are on the train. But there was a story I wanted to tell you guys. So basically guys, we was running late for the train and I was like, Maz, let's just leave it. Like, let's just wait for the next one. Like, there's no point in us going all the way to the station. And Maz was like, so optimistic. Like, no, like, we can still make it. Like, let's just check, it could be delayed. And I was just thinking, oh, like, what's the chances of it gonna be delayed? We're just gonna go all the way there the and be in the cold. Tell them about the obstacles <laughs> in the way. Oh yeah, what? The so, girl we met. No, um, the lift, for the fact the lift was kept stopping on different levels. Oh yeah, the yeah. lift kept stopping on a different level. Like every time I thought, okay, we might be on time. Like there would be something it. else. And the lift stopped at somewhere else and then it stopped at somewhere else. And then we met someone else who yeah. like recognized us. So we had a quick brief chat. Maz had to get, get something battery. from her car. <laughs> and I was like, Maz, let's just wait in your car for the next one. And we're not gonna catch this train. Like, it was like a minute to the train. Yeah. And then she kind of like was gonna agree with me and she was like, okay, let's just check if it's delayed. And I was like, oh, this girl. But I just thought, let me just go with her. And we got there and it was delayed. <laughs> Literally just by the minute we made it. See, you gotta, just, you gotta keep going. Positive mindset it means positive. Literally, because I, I was like, going past. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I don't know, God. That was just a good message to just keep going, guys. Don't be negative. Don't give up. Are we going in the right way? Yeah. You should trust me, babe. Why is that with them? So, yeah, guys, this is really far for us. Like, we're really on the other Happy. side of London. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I've just crossed over to another country. Yeah. <laughs> and so cute. It's be so cute in the summer. Guys, it'll be so cute in the summer. It's giving me a little bit like um like you're on holiday. Oh yeah, but there's a certain country, Illinois. Why like, that one? Um I just don't know, it's giving me that vibe. <laughs> I don't know what that, <laughs> but I feel like I'm in the Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. 
Hi guys, these are Jenna Fries balls. These are, I don't know, whatever. It looks so good, I just want to taste it. Wow. And I think it's as well, when everything is just really chaotic and I'm like, trying to sort things out in terms of like, I don't know, sort my house out or sort work stuff out or just plan stuff that's not like really vloggable. I just, I mean, I couldn't vlog it because it's life and I guess, you know, it would help like you guys and stuff as well, but I just get too overwhelmed. So I'm gonna update you guys on what I've been doing. So let me show you the current situation in my room. I don't know if you guys remember, but I told you guys I was wanted to change one of my rooms into like a closet space. You know, my get ready space, cause honestly, like I get a lot of clothes and stuff. Follow me on Vinted, cause a lot of other stuff are gonna be going on there. I'm gonna be making it, I wanna say a monthly thing or maybe every two weeks, depending on how many clothes and stuff I have. But I wanna be like frequently, you know, updating my wardrobe. I wanna say every month sounds more realistic. So things that I feel like were a one-time wear or things that I feel like I probably wouldn't wear it again I just want to start putting it on my vintage account ASAP I don't want my clothes to build up with clothes that are not, are not gonna get worn do you know what I mean so but I bought my wardrobe on IKEA I designed it on you know the PAX design thing that they did however guys if you're gonna do that make sure if you're buying it and you're, you're you know you're checking out make sure you create an account because i basically designed mine checked out as a guest thinking that obviously like if i designed this obviously you lot are gonna send me the layout of the design that i've just designed please tell me why once i bought the stuff my whole design left so i couldn't remember where the shelves were and how i actually placed them at the time because i ordered it in february and then by the time i checked out i don't know why i didn't clock that the delivery date was march because obviously i saw like the 13th or something and i thought oh yeah okay well, okay cool it's going to be delivered february the 13th but it was actually february i mean 13th of march so i was just really pissed so and then when i called them by the time it got delivered a month later i was like hi like the pack the design that i made isn't with my order like obviously like as i'm building it i can't remember where to place things and i was like oh yeah if you check out as a guest you don't get the design and i just thought that's so dumb because one it doesn't say that on your website like at least if it said that make sure you sign out as a guest to get your design i'm 100 percent sure i would have done that and two that's just dumb like who's gonna make a whole design and then not want it so either do that or take a picture of it because i was so pissed off i kind of had to like wing it so yeah i'm gonna like look at some pinterest and stuff to see how to you know have it all come together so all of that has just really been annoying me because i really just want this room done like you guys don't understand how much i want to do hauls and all these things and all these videos but i can't until this room is done otherwise you lot are just going to be looking at to be fair i could do it once it's a bit more neater like even if my shelves and everything are not fully all you know put together i don't mind doing it but i just need the room to makes sense but anyway now that i've told you about that let me show you what i'm dealing with right now so this is the current situation i've put like some um clothes on the floor because i'm trying to like put some looks together for some brands that i'm working with later on during the week so this is the current setup of my room obviously i've always had this mirror there so which was before it was here so i've just moved that to the side because i'm gonna buy like a little vanity table for it to just go here somewhere. I'm kind of annoyed because I wanted to move my mirror here because I thought, okay, if I start getting ready here or something, I can have like the sunlight hit me when I get ready, but my mirror is actually so big. Sunlight doesn't actually do anything for me, but this is not gonna be the table or anything. This is just like what was in the room already that I can just leave it for now until I get the table, the actual table I want for it. So this is the wardrobe at the moment. I've just put like the stuff that I had just in it just to keep it off the floor for now the frames haven't the frames have been put up but basically this corner because this is like a like a cornered thing there's still one more but it comes out in the corner or something you can basically only buy that in store and it's been out of stock for a while so but apparently it's coming in this week so I'm gonna like keep my eye on it so I can get that. The bit that actually joins the whole frame and everything together hasn't been put up. And also I'm gonna get like some lights put in and there's actually four more shelves that I have. So 
do you know what i might not buy any more shelves i might just put my clothes in it and stuff once i manage to get the other wardrobe and then i can finally put the frames together and then see like what other shelving and stuff i might need because i think i have quite a lot of ready so today is tuesday morning i'm about to get ready for press however i'm thinking that i'm actually gonna make one of my hello fresh meals now guys i'm all done to be fair i don't know why i made the garlic bread i could have actually have just prepped the garlic bread and put it in the oven when i um got back but it's fine don't be like me up but we're all done so the spaghetti is done i'll just add cheese and stuff warm it up garlic bread is done i'm just gonna reheat it when i get in and the rockets for my salad i'll just add that once i get back and then i'll eat it i'll probably update you guys on the taste and everything when i get back but i'm gonna start getting ready i fed my dog so my hello fresh discount is adiola 50 and that saves you 50 percent off your first box and 35 percent off your next three boxes so you guys don't miss out on that discount and please please try hello fresh especially if you live at home i haven't had one person try it and regret it so and if you tried it as well let me know down below comment below and you know let the girls know how you're finding it we've just arrived at the press studios this is my outfit of the day my skin to my outfit of the day please and i'll do yours okay. Okay. actually this is one of my favorite outfits of yours i think you look good in the two-piece oh thank you that's good so i'm wearing this two wait 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 piece. no is the lighting okay? Lovely baby girl. Uh, I'm wearing this two piece of silk from Shein and my boots are from Miss Guidi and my bag is from Prada and my hair. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I do it like that. It's Kim's voice is still in my no. That's so, 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 so true. So Maz, come on over. You gotta surround yourself by people who wanna work. That's so true. So, PLT, eyes for it first, Converse. I love when you do like a cheeky, nice look with trainers. You do yeah. it so well. I did wanna wear heels, but I was just like, oh, for what? Do you know what I mean? No oh. offense. <laughs> So guys, we're just about to do a TikTok for our Pressed account. Make sure you follow Pressed World on TikTok. Can I say this in a friendly way? Babe. Can I say this in a friendly way? How can I say this in a friendly way? How can I say this in a friendly way? Yeah, I need to do my hair. Oh, yes. I need to cook. There's none of that now. Honestly. <laughs> oh, 
That's 2022, boy. You don't need to jump on. So yeah, yeah. Like, do you know, I'm not tempted to do shit like two and two deliveries. Because I know I've got food. Yeah, because I'm so excited to try a new recipe. Like, tonight, I'm so excited to have a... That's how I learned how to make... I didn't really know how to make steak before properly. Is it? Yeah. Oh, guys, I am so fresh. So... We finished um, filming our press episode. I might as well just coming over to mine just to chill for a bit. And um, so it was, what did you say? I said, oh, don't you find it crazy how after work, like some people go to the pub? <laughs> like every day. Yeah. And I didn't, I just kind of like, just like, Agreed. just about heard what she said. So I was trying to see if she said pub or not. And the way I said the pub was so fresh. I said, pub. What did I say? <laughs> Bob, 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 Bob. Like, in a proper accent. Like, Bob. <laughs> like when I tell people I'm actually not from this country, they've. Oh, oh babe, babe, when I was in America, here. I was in a bed. <laughs> and Harry, Harry was taking the piss out of me. Really? Yeah, Harry <laughs> and Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> because you say it's so confident, you think. Yeah! Oh, they clock back. Yeah! Harry and Rachel like they will just clock all the time and they're the kind of people that would do the side eye like oh, boom and I'm like oh fuck sake you know just like act like you didn't hear just act like you didn't hear guys when I there's so many words I cannot pronounce maybe I should go to etiquette class sis huh like etiquette. or etiquette or speech class <laughs> It's not etiquette. Yeah, etiquette. Yeah, 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 etiquette. I'm yeah. just, I'm just, I can't oh, talk, babe. Like, it just happens to the best of us sometimes. I just can't pronounce. It's literally part of my brand now. Like, I just can't talk. I can't pronounce stuff. Why yeah. is that? It's just because it but just... But it's the fact you were born in the UK, I babe. wasn't, like, okay, physically I was. See? But mentally, I'm you, not yeah. in, from this country But actually. apparently... It just means we need to read more books. Yeah, no, maybe I do need to read more books. Yeah. I need to read more books, maybe just... But the Holding thing is, even if I read books, it's the English that I hear in my head. Yeah, I get it. So it's like, that's literally how I will pronounce it in my head. How you so maybe I should it. listen to um, the read-back books, yeah. the audio books. Yeah, audio books. Yeah. Do you like them? Do you put them to books? Mm, sometimes I feel like I'd rather read because as I read, I can imagine it. Yeah, and sometimes when you hear someone else's voice, it's a bit like... You can mm. just skim, like you cannot take it in. Yes. And sometimes I overdo it. Six. How many do you feel going there? But... Oh, yeah. Good girl, that was very cute. Mm, she got proper comfy. Oh, you can bring her out oh. basically guys stormy does this thing when someone says hello to her because she's so excited she'll be peeing wild like <laughs> getting very excited so i'm trying to like tell people when she first comes in don't say hello to her because she's just too excited like why are you peeing because someone is saying hello to you so yeah that was what Miles was just trying to do to her but yeah we're home now as you guys know i did make my hello fresh earlier and i'm not gonna lie i ate it before i went <laughs> Oh, I had like it. lunch. I had it oh, around 1.30. I'm excited to try it though. Yeah, it was really good. Well, I liked it. Let me not say that. But um, yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of today. Um, I'm going to vlog tomorrow. I'm meant to have a content day, but it's meant to be raining tomorrow. So I might show you the BTS of that. Or if it's the weather's bad, I'll probably just vlog on Thursday because I'll move it to Thursday. But yeah, I'll see you guys the next day. Guys, so we've just finished getting ready. We're on our way to like central London where we're going to be shooting our content. We just made it to, well, we're not at the train. We've already caught a train. We need to catch another train and then we'll literally be there. But I just wanted to update you guys just so it's not messy because I've realised with my vlogs, I just come in and out. So yeah, that's it. You lot will probably see the outfits on Instagram and stuff. So yeah, that is the plan. I hate when I'm moving from like content days of a big bag and stuff it's just a lot like when you have, when you have your when you get your car you can just put it in the boot of your car but would i even drive to those places of london if you're going into london just know that do all your content that day cause yeah because you're gonna pay you have but to pay to get in there in different areas it's true park up quickly somewhere yeah because your, your honestly just carrying these bags like i haven't put my gloss on because i hate when i put my gloss on and then the hair starts putting it all over my face so i'm like I'll do myself up properly just before I do my photos, so yeah. Esto es el gol, el laico queremos perrear, y a solas puedes darnos calor. Down, 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 yeah.
She must took Mimi out for a walk and Mimi does this thing when she's out and she sees another dog She just goes crazy even when we walk stormy and Mimi together for a little bit If stormy is ahead the way Mimi will move is crazy It's like she's having a fit like she's literally breathing in and out like this And it's the, it's the squeal. Sound she it's makes sound. this sound of desperation like and she needs to get ahead otherwise she's gonna die like, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot it's embarrassing because when she's out when you hear it you understand like I get so anxious when we go to a park and there's bare dogs because Mimi for some she just wants she's so territorial like I don't know yeah, she's just it's, and it's mom. like why are you like that yeah so we're gonna show you guys the noise Mimi makes we're gonna um, show you guys so let's go okay come on Stormy come on Stormy guys Stormy doesn't like being Stormy come on Just to finish getting ready, well, snap. I literally, girl, I literally snap. <laughs> you do your thing, girl. Do you want to come in? You can come in. But yeah, so we just finished getting ready to go to the mixtape launch party. Um, we found out that it's in Shoreditch, so we decided to wear trainers, casual vibes, so we can just have a cute little vibe tonight. So I went super casual. I've got my tracksuit bottoms from um, I saw it first. These have a nice red cross on them. And then the reason why I wore them was to match my Jordan trainers. And this Shein top, I took content in today. And now it's given more of like a preppy, cheek, um, sexy girl vibe. And my hair going to be beautiful way. I'm glad. Um, and glam so that's what we went for love that <laughs> and now you i'm wearing this top from plt my, actually my whole outfit is plt and just to match the trainers i just bought my balenciagas because i don't actually have all black trainers so that's the one thing i need to get just all black you trainers. do your balenciagas have they still got white like the, the sock one i don't like the white in it all you need is the oh babe all you need is our laces I like, you know, like the 39 paint it no, but I still want the white. Oh. I still want to have an option to just have all black trainers. Oh, okay, yeah, I get you. I get you. There you go. But yeah, guys, so we're just gonna like pre drink a little. Oh my gosh, yeah. I want us to use the vodka because I don't think I've shown them the AU vodka that I received. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because I, I want to try it now. Oh, you haven't tried it? Well, they asked to give to me some, so I was like, okay, yeah. But remember we were saying yesterday how it tastes nice? It tastes nice. really nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let us just quickly prep to pre-drink and, yeah, we'll see you in the kitchen. So, guys, let me show you this bottle of alcohol I received in PR. It's so oh, are we taking a shot? Yeah. Okay, and then we calm down with the wine. Oh, guys. So guys, I got sent this AU Vodka Fruit Punch and they even customised it for me. How cute, it looks so cute in my bar. I've already tasted it, Mice hasn't tasted it, but I was letting her know that it's probably one of the sweetest vodkas I've tasted. Like you don't really need a chaser with it. Is it? That's a big statement, you know. That's yeah, bold Yeah, because it's say. really nice. Do you want a shot? Nicole? Is it like a, uh, is it like the, um, the tequila, the yellow, the pink tequila? No, it's nicer, much nicer. Wow. Yeah. I, well, you said you got it quite, my expectations quite high, babe. Yeah. I just feel like I've drank a lot of wine. Really? Okay, yeah. this will be your last shot of the night. Beverage of the night. You see what I mean? I can do it. It's, like it's just a little... It's not too much. Too much. It's like, it gives me that, oh, I'm it drinking vodka, that but I don't feel sick. Yeah. It's, it's, it's sweet as, I feel yeah, like it's sweeter than Ciroc flavoured. Your turn. 
Don't you think it's, don't you think it's sweeter than the flavoured Ciroc? I'm sure. Yeah. So it's that's how sweet I can. Have you had a you've got to Um, yeah. Oh. Do you like it? I don't know. That's nice. This might smell like Barbella. Same. Like, Same. Taking shots of Barbella. Oh, it does, isn't it? <laughs> that tastes really nice. That was one of my best holidays. Are you taking a jacket, Nicole? Are you guys? No. No, I was about to decide by you lot, so we're not taking jackets. No, babe, it's summer now. <laughs> summer. <laughs> wow, guys. Well, I hope That's I don't catch a cold. <laughs> Stormy's on top of Mimi, you know. I told you, my dog is. Uh, she does a lot. Right, can get selfie. Yeah. <laughs> she ran into the box. <laughs> hey, me, 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 that was not a win. Yes, it Mimi was. Had the do- Mimi had the donut. Look, nine- and Mimi is older. <laughs> Mimi is even older. No, babe. By two years, calm down. You guys saw there was a tug Wait of war. Wait a minute and let her tell the story. And then like, you guys will hear my version. Um, guys, on this vlogging camera, you need to hear my version first before you make your final decision. Then okay, who know. do you guys think won the tug of war? I think Stormy won it because she took the donut. But no, she didn't, babe. She did take she the donut. F- but so did Mimi. Yeah, but my, my, my Mimi. dog won. No, babe, no. Yeah. Oh, my God. 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 Oh
I don't think I'm a posy person. I'm too awkward. You prefer candid? Yeah, I can't pose the same. Uh, and I really thought I was going to be a model. <laughs> Hey guys, oh, I haven't even updated you guys, but yeah, I've done an outfit outfit change. I'm wearing these glasses, I really like them. I wanna start wearing more glasses and accessories, so I got quite a few, so you'll probably see me doing the most with the glasses lately. Because, to be fair, it's because I have my eyes on certain glasses, but I felt like I should try loads of glasses out so I can see what I actually like, do you know what I mean? Anyway guys, I shouldn't even be talking because I'm running really, really late to the studio. But I'm literally like seven minutes away. Oh yeah, I'll put up the video. one more time. Do you know what? I love no, no, it. it stops. Mm -hmm. Can we just let's guys? No, this I've is been drinking. Secret. Your one is nearly finished. Yeah. You haven't even started. Babe, I, started. I wanna taste the next one so I'm trying to hurry up. Yeah exactly babe. Like, I don't want to be them girls that I have a question. Are you the type of girls because there's the, people have different type of eating styles. I have a friend that she can't eat the meat without eating the side. Yeah I get it. So no I don't get it. So Wait. so basically she'll eat She'll eat, like, let's just say if you have chicken and chips, mm -hmm. she'll eat all the chips first. And then move on. And to then move on to the meat. I feel like every time I'm with you guys, it's always an attack. Because this is how <laughs> I eat. Yeah. Yeah. It was late. Now we're here talking about how we eat. Sometimes order is nice. You know, do you know what the concept is? It's when it's like having a dessert. Saving the best to last. Saving the best to last. You eat the chips, the things that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when you have your burger, your chicken, it's that lasting thing knowing, yeah. It was worth the wait. No, that's how we see it. That's not. Do you know what? Yes, yeah, but I love you, but that's not it. Yes, that's it not is. It. Sometimes not. you can mix and match, but there's certain things like fish and chips. I like. Let me get my fish, my chips done, and then I eat my. Chips. So you yeah. eat all chips, the yeah. chips. And then my, my, I can't speak here about. But I can't understand. Right. It. But Let's I have, I have just one quick conversation. Okay. 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 Shorty jam. Uh, mojang. Atarodo, Moja, Atarodo, Auntie, Odugo. Ah, and you come. Let me tell you, more um, more breakfast. La robots. Let me tell you, you see, um, Auntie, and what what she said that day. Listen, that was standard stand the lesson. Yes, yes. I'm real Nigerian. Yeah. That's why I can't talk English too good. When I can't pronounce things, I'm people trying to correct my pronunciation. I'm not from this country. I didn't know your Yoruba was clean like this. Uh -huh. Your Yoruba is giving Yoruba. Oh, oh my Yoruba. Yes. I love that. But yours is good though. I feel like I can tell you little things. I try to I just want to make sure I don't want to sound like I'm doing too much. Because I think like, you're overthinking yeah. it. You didn't think about it in that time. That's yeah. why it sounded good. You yeah. just need to you just need to be confident and then say it. You yeah. know we are like, I'm gonna be shit and then say it. Just say it. it. And we're so grateful to Joyce for having us here exactly. today. She is phenomenal. Amazing. We love to see amazing women come up in the scene, doing things properly, you know, you know, putting in the grind, doing yeah. the hard work, and it's so lovely to see your wealth. I, I appreciate your content. It's exactly. very, very appreciate it. I love and appreciate you. Maria Musa, Adiela Patron, it's been an absolute honor. And with that being said, we are motherfucking closing. It's another two hour episode as I you guys have it. asked. But thank you so much Can for coming and thank you so much for listening. It's Madam Joyce, Cots and Takeaways. Yes. We very drunk, but we out. We out. <laughs> Guys, so I need a vlogging camera. You do. do. We need to see BHS behind the scenes. You know, look, so look at you with the tripod camera and everything. This man. is my sister. Oh, 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 you know the cut toes. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I'm really hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I'm really hoping. Babe, I'm really hoping. The cut toes Joyce gave me is really cocktailing. Cock the cut toes is really cocking. Yeah. <laughs> Right, guys, this episode will be out on Wednesday. If it's not out already, make sure you check it out. You know the vibes. Already. I'm very excited. It was honestly, it was amazing. I'm so honored. Like this was phenomenal. It was I had fun. a I didn't have. I shouldn't have had that much fun. <laughs> I shouldn't me. have had that much fun. We need to do all stars because obviously me and mine's in the top two of the question. Are we? Question. <laughs> What's the most highest you've got though? To be honest, it's, it's, like eight. it's eight. It's from eight. who? That guy. Shine. For sh uh, no, from Koi. Was it Koi? You said. He had an easy one. 
Ooh, to be honest, I would I would give it to Shayo. Shayo t- technically is yeah, because he won because he had easy ones, but we done really well with hard ones. We had Shio, we had a lot of dates. I, well, I will leave you with this. These guys had fifteen questions between the two of them, and they got five and a half. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know I don't know if that's even fifty percent, but but the, remember, babe. One I'm not from I'm not from the country either. I mean, and it was cultural, cultural, yeah, cultural questions. Rice. And one of the a couple of questions Adriana t- took lead, so I let her. <laughs> so when she took lead, they were saying, the "Oh my, give my one was right." Give me the not camera. You blame it, not you blaming Adriana. My Your cut, cut the cameras. Baby, baby, LV. Oh,